Fire. The most important discovery made by humans. In ancient times, people used fire to transform metals into weapons of mass destruction. Swords and axes were used for defense, conquest, and glory. Romans had their own god of fire, Vulcan. And even the Greeks attributed the power of fire to Prometheus, who was a titan that stole the power of fire from the gods themselves. And now in modern times, kids use fire to blaze it in the back of their Honda Civics on a Friday night in an empty parking lot. Needless to say, if your tennis string has the word fire in the name, it better be damn good. Let's see if it lives up to its expectation. This is the Yonix Polytour Fire Tennis String Review. <laughs> Mark, are you okay? <laughs> January 13th, hitting at my local club with Brian. It's the very last play test for the Yonix Poly Tour Fire. So let's get the show on the road. I tested the Yonix Poly Tour Fire at the 16 L gauge because there's no 16 gauge available. It is a coal polyester monofilament and it is most definitely round. The price, and a reminder that the price is the MSRP not the sale price, per packet is $18. And that comes at about $200 per reel. Now the selling point for the Yonix Polytour Fire is that Yonix had made the string with a unique silicone oil infused filament technology. You know what that means? It might be flammable. So I'll leave a link down in the description below for the timestamp of when I will actually attempt to light this tennis string on fire and see if it's flammable for you psychopaths and pyromaniacs out there. Now, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Assembled Brick and Vig for guessing the correct score in my most recent match play. I'll leave a link to that in this corner if you guys want to take a look at it. I also do live stream on Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time for any questions that I can't answer in the comments down below. So swing on by and we can hang out. I also have set up a Discord server that you guys can join in and I will discuss more on that towards the end of this video. So stay tuned. Towards the end, if you guys have any questions about my Discord server that is actually now currently live. The Yonix Poly Tour fire from the baseline was very impressive. The most impressive thing about this string overall is the sound that this was able to produce, especially on the flatter shots that you could just absolutely tee off on. Check this out. Overall, the power and spin were fantastic and were really good for a non-shaped cold polyester. The spin potential and comfort weren't nearly as good as something like the Yonex Polytour Pro or the Technifiber Black Code, but it's better than any of the other round polyesters other than those two I've reviewed on this channel. But still, not nearly enough bite like a Selenko Hyper G or the Selenko Confidential or any of the other shaped cold polys that I've reviewed so far. For the underspin, it cuts and dives pretty damn well, and although it's not the best tennis string for slices, it's still pretty good. And to top that off, the feel and comfort were pretty good, and overall from the baseline, this is a really good string that is living up to its high standard so far. For the serves and overheads, although it doesn't add miles per hour on the first serve, it doesn't detract the speed from it either. 
The spin for both the slice and top spin slash kick serves were overall pretty good, nothing to complain about there. And the feel, especially for flat serves, was really good. Again, it didn't add any miles per hour, but it was comfortable, it had nice ball pocketing, and it was overall very predictable, a very reliable strain couldn't even do off that. the serves. For the volleys and touch shots, the power was consistent. It didn't add any power, and just like the serves, it didn't detract from it either. The feel was comfortable enough, and the comfort and finesse shots inspired me to maybe go for a little bit too much, and I was still rewarded with the consistency and the plushness that this string was able to provide. Originally strong at 55 pounds and after about six hours of straight hitting, the tension is now at 57 pounds. The increase in two pounds in tension was a little bit of a surprise because I felt like this string was relatively soft and the rise in tension is more characteristically for the stiffer strings like the RPM rough. One of the most common questions I get on this channel is people asking for some sort of substitute of the Luxalon Alu Power. And I'm happy to say that the Yonix Polytour Fire is that string. It has all the same characteristics as the Alu Power, but the Yonix Polytour Fire does not have that tingy, hollow, aluminum-like feeling. It's a lot more plush, and most of all, it's a little bit cheaper as well. As always, I tested this string with my Yonix E-Zone 98 strung at 55 pounds. So concerning my Discord, it is now up and live. I will leave a link down in the description below. If you guys wanna talk, hang out, and chat with me along with other tennis-minded people such as yourself. I will also be using this Discord to do private and public video analysis and strategy on match play if you guys are interested in that. So hit me up. Let's hang out on Discord, and I'll see you guys in my live stream relatively soon. And as always, much love for me, and happy hitting. I'm gonna emphasize, kids, don't try this at home. Leave it up to the idiots like myself. Let's see if this actually lights on fire. <sighs> Didn't light on fire, but definitely broke the string. <laughs>